Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through an overview of design model guys. So in one of our lectures, we have we have seen a triangle diagram, right? So I'll be calling it as triangle diagram. So just give me a second. Okay. So this diagram. Okay. So the same diagram, you can just draw it in this way guys. It's a simple version basically. So it does not explain a lot, but it's the same diagram. So from analysis model, we are dividing, converting it into design model and design model will be having five things guys. So those are nothing but data class elements, architecture elements, deployment elements, infra, sorry, interface elements and component level elements. So these are all the elements that the design model will be having. Okay. So we'll be discussing about these things in our next unit guys. So here we'll be just introducing them. Okay. Okay. So the design model can be viewed in two different dimensions guys. So here you can observe this in two different dimensions. That is nothing but one is horizontal and the other is vertical guys okay so first let us go through horizontal the process dimension indicate the evolution of parts of the design model each design task execute executes executed so basically once one is executed you'll be getting the result in that way okay similarly vertical the abstraction dimension represents the level of details as each element of the analysis model is trans trans transformed into design model and then iteratively refined so in vertical we will be getting step by step whereas in horizontal we will be getting layer by layer got it that's the only thing guys okay so elements of the design model uses many of the same uml diagrams which we have already discussed using which we already used or discussed in analysis model okay so they are only refined and elaborated so basically in design model you will be elaborating them a bit more and you'll be explaining them in detail so that's the only difference guys okay so more implementation specific provided so basically after this step we will be going to coding right so that is the reason why in this step we will be elaborating them so if the diagram is of two steps you'll be making them 10 steps or five steps or six steps like that you'll be elaborating them as the code looks like so basically the, this is nothing but the outline of the code you can assume in that way okay so first let us discuss about a data design elements guys okay just will be giving some some introduction so that will be clear for you in your future in our next, next lecture okay okay so data design element so it is also referred to data architecturing guys so data design creates a model of data and or information that is that is represented at a high level of abstraction okay guys we have discussed about this already in our previous lectures also so i am just going through the points okay it will be clear for you so as in any project data plays a key role hence designing it properly helps a lot in our future coding and testing so i have discussed you with respect to data centric model right so in center we will be having the data and based on the requirements we will be designing these kind of models guys so even we are having hybrid process models and everything we are having many things we'll be discussing about them in our next unit don't worry about that okay similarly architectural design elements so architectural design element is nothing but a photocopy as you can say it is the architecture in which we are using okay okay so it is nothing but the photocopy of the end software to achieve the following we need to have the knowledge of the application domain and the relationship between the uml diagrams and we need to have a proper architecture style okay so infra interface design elements so this tells us how the information flow into and out of the system so basically it will be saying that what will be going as an input and what will be coming as an output so it includes user interface basically remember that guys because we'll be discussing in detail about user interface and external interface and internal interfaces okay so the next one is nothing but component level design right so that is the fourth one yes after that we are having deployment okay so component level design as the name suggests the component level design provides the details against the software with respect to particular components so basically these things if you recall in deployment diagram and in most of the places we wrote drawn these kind of diagrams so this is nothing but a component guys okay so in, or, in order to achieve this component design describes the representation of data structure so we'll be representing in this way so assume that this is an event that is nothing but awt event okay so the component is inscribed into the interface so basically this will be inside the interface guys so this kind of component so they'll be related in this way so after that let us go through deployment level design guys the next whole chapter will be dis discussing about these five steps only so that this is just an introduction for it okay don't worry that you uh, didn't understand anything don't worry you'll be discussing these things in our next unit don't worry 
Okay, so these indicates how the software functionalities and system or subsystems will be allocated return within the physical com physical computing environment that will support the software. So basically how the deployment will be done is nothing but what will be inside what, how it will be appearing and everything. So if you think this is a desktop application, so here we, are, we wrote the code and we substituted the code inside the system. So now this PC will be, will be assuming it as restaurant PC. So it has multiple, sorry just give me a second. Okay, so it has multiple components and each component, one component is order and the other component is recipient or receipts. So both are the databases and we will be using a printer to print the bills and we will be using multiple devices to send the data into it. So you can call this is nothing but a UML develop deployment diagram guys. Okay, so these are the five steps which we will be discussing in detail in the next unit guys. Okay. So I think the unit name will be starting from 4.1 to the end of 4 guys, 4 point ending, okay? Okay, so pattern based, so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about pattern based software designs. So basically in designs also will we have any pattern, so we'll be discussing about that in our next lecture, okay? So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you, thanks for watching.